If you have been watching these videos there is one thing you should have learned by now. You must embrace technology quickly. The world is evolving, stay on top of it. If you are not actively embracing it, once technology passes you by, it will take significantly more effort to catch up again. With that in mind, in this video, we will talk about non-fungible tokens, also known as NFTs. NFTs are one-of-a-kind assets in the digital world that can be bought and sold like any other piece of property, but which have no tangible form of their own. While everyone is aware of the NFT craze at this point, this is meant to be a guide for complete newbies. Most people think NFTs have no value and don't believe in the community aspect of the industry. They will be proven wrong on a massive scale, and this video will likely convert you into understanding why. Now, let's jump right into it. The first use case for NFTs is a simple flex, you are richer than them. Anyone can rent or lease a supercar, anyone can rent an expensive mansion for the day or weekend. None of this is remotely impressive, as it only costs a few thousand dollars. In the crypto landscape, you can't pull this off. If you rent an NFT, people know you rented it since you can see it in the blockchain data. And on top of that, it is practically impossible to fake owning a $400,000 plus CryptoPunk or $1 million plus art block. While there are a lot of people who scam it in a different way, for example by having 10 people chip in 12 Ethereum each to acquire one CryptoPunk, the end result is still the same. They only have one and the group identity is forced into 10 hands instead of one. Over the long term, people will find out that the punk owner doesn't actually own the punk. This is happening already if you're deep in the space. In short, the first initial use case is insecurity and flexing, which has been around since the dawn of time. At this point, a JPEG is likely a bigger flex than a Lamborghini, because it is 100 times harder to fake and more importantly, it gives you access to powerful people you'd never meet without it. Powerful people and community. For the people who claim that they will never own an NFT, we cannot help but laugh. There are really two major types right now. 1. The real substantial projects. And 2. The scammers who are dumping on their fan base, for example, celebrity NFT drops of 10,000 units that quickly move to zero. If you see an NFT being sold with no community backing it, just a celebrity, you should run. Run as fast as you can, away from the project. The only way you should be involved is if you know people will push the price up for a couple of days, then, immediately liquidate. Community. This is where the real value is. If you were to ask someone, what is the net worth of a CryptoPunk owner, they know it's in the millions. This is powerful in itself as you can jump into the Punk Discord and immediately know you're not talking to a LARP. This is enormous. Even if you go to high-end bars, clubs and restaurants, tons and tons of people are simply LARPs. Again, it isn't hard to buy bottle service for a day or even pop some champagne. The real value is finding people who are heavy hitters in their industry. Access. In the near future, if you want to raise money, do you want to go and raise it from punk owners, or do you want to try and raise money from a random newly minted NFT? The answer of course is punk owners. This is powerful in itself as well, you've created an access point to get rid of the riffraff and target internet rich individuals or entities. Access Part 2 If the celebrities wise up, the NFTs they sell will eventually give you real access to something new. So far, experience NFTs have been a flop, but they will likely work in the future. Instead of buying a random one of 100 mint from a celebrity, the ownership of it will allow you to meet them or do something specific with them. NFTs can also be used to sell your time. Auction off an NFT that gives you access to a one-hour call or meeting. So on and so forth. A lighter form of this would be advertising. Say you wanted to do a sponsored post. Instead of collecting US trash token, you could collect via an NFT, which would represent a certain amount of minutes for a podcast or advertising space. Streaming money. NFTs can also be used to collect royalties or the concept of streaming money. You send your employees an NFT and you link that to a token issuance. 
This way you can fill their account without the need for constant manual sending of tokens. Gaming NFTs are already entering the gaming sphere. The first NFTs were really skins in digital games, just without any real outside use. Back in the day, gold in specific video games ended up having more value than some currencies, like the Venezuelan Bolivar. Quick Conclusions At this point, you should come to a few conclusions. 1. If you can flex online, do you reach more people? The answer is yes. The rented Lamborghinis and mansions won't work anymore. 2. There is no reason for a 9 to 5 payment system, it can be streaming money or one-time instant payments. And 3. Access becomes more relevant and this could range from the right network to special areas in a built VR video game. Assuming that you have some interest now and understand that NFTs will not go away anytime soon, since in the future every single person will be forced to own an NFT just like they use the internet. It's time to look at your purchasing options. 1. OpenSea. This is the most common and will likely be displaced long term if they do not compete on pricing. They charge a 2.5% fee, but for now it's the main way to acquire an NFT. 2. Rarible slash Super Rare. Rarible and Super Rare are similar to OpenSea, and there are pricing differences at times for the same item. Some people do try to buy on one and sell on the other. 3. Nifty Gateway is also a semi-popular marketplace in NFTs, although more for those who are unwrapping from fiat and may not have Ethereum in a hot wallet ready to go, as credit cards are accepted as a form of payment. Some security notes. Many scammers attempt to sell fake versions of art blocks and other high-valued NFTs. You have to check the item to make sure it is verified on OpenSea. At this point, you're an inning one. This means that NFTs will fluctuate at a significantly higher rate, relative to the underlying asset. If an NFT project is collapsing, you won't see it since the liquidity dries up. On the other side, if a project is doing well, you'll see hundreds of alerts over and over again. Key to NFT success. Community and marketing. If the plan is to invest in a project and let it run, the project is going to be worth nothing. Since you're in the early stages of NFT adoption, the winner is going to be the one with the best marketing. Here is a great example. Corona. If you do a blind taste study of Corona beers, they rank poorly. That's right, they are not considered to be good tasting if the test is run blind. Why do they sell well? You guessed it. Marketing. If a team doesn't have good marketing it's best to avoid. Want to know why we're using Corona as an example? Snoop Dogg runs their commercials. The same guy who owns a punk and uses it as his avatar. He understands marketing. To really drive home the point, the beer tastes so bad that they consistently use a lime on top to market it. That's right, the beer is so awful you have to improve the flavor with a lime before consumption. In the end, the best marketing and mediocre product will crush the best product with bad marketing. This has been the case since the beginning of time. Cultural relevancy. Once you understand that community and marketing are important, the last item remaining is relevancy. Punks will likely stand the test of time as the first OG product. The other ones have to carve out a niche in another way. If you're on the fence about a project, a good filter is a strong diamond-handed community plus a reason to be culturally relevant in 5 to 10 years. No one thinks out that far hence the FOMO hype cycle we're seeing. That's all for today folks. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to this channel for weekly updates on how to get rich without giving up your life. And before we end, there is one last important thing that you can't afford to forget. Banks are zeros.